This is loaded shoulder stretching. Loaded means that you're putting strength and muscle activation into what's usually just held as a stretch, as a very passive motion. So this is for when, if you're gonna lift your arm, your only, uh, arm only gets to there, it can't sort of get to this full 180 degrees or, or vertical with the arm. Or where, to get there, your body goes yoink, and it tries to get the motion through the spine, which can be a very bad thing in the spine. So it's important for the shoulders to be really open and to be able to do full range without the spine having to add movement there. So this is what this one helps with. So your feet are away from, from the door or the wall, your hands above your head, arms stay straight. And then I'm bringing my chest here, I'm bringing it down towards the door. So it's going down that way. I'll just come forward that way with the focus of the chest going down, not, not, not trying to arch my back. It's here, go to there. And I feel quite a strong stretch go through here, through my tricep, back to the shoulder, through the pecs as well. This will help if you have roundness in your, in your, in your lower back, uh, your upper back. When the load is stretching from here, I start to push. It's all isometric, so there's no movement. I start to push my hands into the door or into the wall. With about 20 to 50% effort. If I did any more power, it would make my body do this. So I'll hold that for six seconds. And then from here, I try to lift my hands off the wall. And of course it won't because of the position. But now I'm activating all these muscles along here for six seconds. Then I might find as I come out of that, it just wants to go deeper, which is good. Then I push into the, into the wall again. About that 20 to 50% power for six seconds. Then I try to lift my hands off the wall without making my body adjust. For six seconds. Then I might go further again. So the way you can play with this further is to pull the shoulder blades together. So I pull them together here. So the arms above the head, I have the shoulder blades pulled together that way. So the elbows can be straight out to the side that way. So they always point to the side versus the elbow coming in to the point of the elbow going in that way, so the elbow to the side. So I'm making my elbows be out the side, shoulder blades pulled together. Now I'm doing that same loading, the exact same way I just did. So I'm pushing into the door, six seconds, and then I'm lifting off with the shoulder blades staying together. Together and also sliding down my back, my shoulder blades slide down my back is the idea. So I can do it that way, do um, these four lots, four sets of that. And the next one, then you can do the hands like this. So the elbow starts to roll as if it was pointing to the wall. And I'll do the same thing. So I push into the, into the wall, six seconds. Then I try to lift my hands off. So I'm activating a different muscle pathway now. And repeat that about four, four sets, four times through. Uh, it's, uh, it's worthwhile doing that It'll really kick off your shoulder range if you did that twice a day for two weeks. Uh, once a day will get results, but twice is even better. Uh, stop if there's any sharp pain doing this at all. Stop doing it.